He was an All-American, living what seemed to be the perfect life. My basketball was phenomenal. I was playing well in New York and enjoying myself. But addiction cost him nearly everything. And that's when my life come tumbling down. And now he's turned it all around. That's right, a great player at U of D, an Olympic gold winner, and an NBA star who married a supermodel. Good life couldn't have gotten a whole lot better for Spencer Haywood. Unfortunately, it got a lot worse. Life in Hollywood brought more uh, downs than ups, it seemed. But today, Haywood has an all-American comeback story. <laughs> This past Friday night, a homecoming for Spencer Haywood at Callahan Hall. He played one memorable season at the University of Detroit back in 1968. He was just 19 years old, had just won a gold medal at the Olympics, the most highly recruited basketball player in America. So why did he end up playing for the Titans? Everything that had happened to me came through Detroit, and uh, I wanted to play here. I, I turned down UCLA, all of the big schools, and came home. Spencer wanted to play in the NBA, but to protect the NCAA, the league had a rule that a player could not play pro ball for a period of four years after high school. Many considered that rule illegal, and Spencer signed a deal with the Seattle Supersonics. When I signed the contract, the NBA filed suit against me, saying he's an illegal player. He quickly became the target of harassment in every stop on Seattle's schedule. Every town, yeah. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, we have an injunction against number 24, Spencer Haywood, the illegal player. He eventually won his lawsuit in the United States Supreme Court, which made a powerful enemy of the NBA. What did I do wrong? And all I was doing was trying to get my mother out of the cotton field for picking cotton for $2 a day. The legal storm passed, but real trouble loomed on the horizon. Spencer was traded to the L.A. Lakers, the era of Showtime. He was an NBA superstar married to a supermodel, Iman. A storybook life come true. It was the best time I had in basketball, and all of a sudden, I started uh, hanging out with the Hollywood people and wanted to be, you know, something that I wasn't, and, and I got tripped up with uh, cocaine, and that's when my life come tumbling down. Doom, 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 doom. It was devastating for his wife to see Spencer throw away his career, his family, and his life. To see all of that go down the drain, you know, over some little powder, uh, it was and just not, it's, it's a break of heart, it was unfair. Oh yeah, some tight shots in the ball. Oh my gosh, I can't miss. Now at age 66, those days seem a lifetime ago. Spencer Haywood has been sober for 29 years, happily married to his second wife for 25 years. He says there is no magic formula to sobriety. It happened with hard work and a lot of faith. Because I surrendered all of my will and my care over to God as I did when I was a kid in Mississippi because we didn't have food and stuff like that. So it was what we had was God. So I, I had no problem going back to that. Over the years, he has remained friends with Iman and her late husband, David Bowie, who just recently passed away. David just an awesome man. He, uh, he looked after my daughter, Zuleika. Sometime I didn't, I didn't pay attention to her as much as he, he was there for her and took care of my daughter. So I, I pray for her because that was my first, my first love, you know, and, and my dear friend. One thing does bother Spencer, that so many young players in the NBA don't even know who he is or the price he paid to open their doors to millions of dollars. But he quickly adds, bitterness will eat you up. Let it go. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.